Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. Uh, okay, you came for an interview. Yes, sir. But I don't expect this kind of uh, attire is good for an interview. Uh, so sir. what is the reason for this attire? Like you did not have proper grooming and uh, no proper uh, attire. Like so, I want to ask you like, uh, is that okay? Attire is important or no for an interview? For an interview, attire is important, sir. Because of interview, firstly check the attire itself only. How the dressing style is feared by the student, and how is like uh, by the dressing style itself only he can judge a student. Okay. okay fine. We'll go through your profile. Uh, introduce about yourself. Yes. Good morning, sir. Uh, I am Vinay from Karimnagar, but currently staying in Hyderabad. I have completed my graduation in B.Sc. Computer Science in the year of 2022. Coming to my family background, we are four members in our family, including me. My technical skills are Core Java, Advanced Java, and HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Okay. My so we'll get to the main subject. Yes, sir. Okay. So. What do you know about Java? Why Java is famous among other programming languages? Yes, sir. Firstly, Java is uh, known as Oak. After that, it turns into the taken the global system. And uh, Java is a like uh, it can perform in the multiple systems like so uh, write once and run anywhere. It applicable in Java itself only, and it's a platform independent. So and Java itself uh, it's with the security also. So how can we know that Java is platform independent technically? Technically means so uh, like uh, if I wrote a program in a, one Eclipse in my system. For example, uh, a student written his system one program, and this student uh, this program he want to execute it this system also, and as well as another system. It will be applicable. It will execute both the systems. Okay, fine. Uh, what are iterative statements? Iterative statements. Uh, iterative. Okay, you don't know about iterative Sorry. statements. Okay. Uh, then what is uh, what are global members? Global members are also known as the instance variables, which are initialization inside the class and outside the method. Okay. So when does uh, uh, okay, what is difference between class and object? Class like uh, firstly we go through the object. Object uh, it exists in the real world. And class is not exist in the re real world. And for example, we'll take a like uh, example car. Car is a class, and uh, blueprint of the cars are like uh, Audi, the clock of is there, and MG car, shift. This is called object, and this car is called as a class. Okay. So now uh, we come to the OOPs concept. Sure. What is encapsulation? Binding variables and methods under single entity is known as encapsulation, and as well as uh, by using the encapsulation, we can secure our data by initializing the variables as private. Okay. Then what is uh, relationship? Uh, what is uh, inheritance? Right. Acquiring the property, acquiring the properties of Parent class to child class is known as inheritance. In Java, we have two level inheritance. Like first one is single inheritance, and another one is multi-level inheritance. Single inheritance is uh, acquiring the properties from one parent class to one child, and multi-level is uh, one grandparent is acquiring the properties of parent, and pa child is acquiring the properties of parent. What is constructor chain? Constructor chain is like uh, multiple inheritance is there also, and uh, To work on the problem, we introduce the interfaces. Constructor chaining is if you use without interfaces, uh, like uh, if you created a program, for example, created a program in that one super class is the parent class. For every classes, we have the default constructor. But in interfaces, we don't have constructors. So, yes, sir. In interfaces, uh, we don't have constructor. Constructor chaining does not uh, relate to any interface. Yes, sir. Constructor chaining is not related to interface only, but uh, like construct in every classes constructors are there, multiple inheritance. Uh, like the child class super call statement is confused to call which constructor. So that's the reason we getting the diamond uh, and also known as diamond chaining constructor. Understood. Okay. Uh, 
I asked you just constructor chaining and there is constructor chaining problem, both are different. So constructor chaining is nothing but it is performed using this call statement or super call statement. Okay. That is constructor chaining. Hmm. Constructor chaining problem we are discussing the of the interfaces. So make sure that okay fine uh, not bad. You have to improve more in uh, okay. which concept. And next uh, what do you know about exception? Exception so like it stops the normal flow of the Java program. Suddenly it stops and uh, after stopping that application also stops. What is arithmetic exception? Like if you divide any number by zero, we get the arithmetic exception. Null pointer exception. Null pointer means like uh, suppose we are taking a data tag as a string and we are initializing the variable as a str and we are assigning the, uh, declaring the value which means like null. If you want to get output means if we will get the null pointer exception because of we are not any giving the way like uh, values to that string. Okay. What is checked and unchecked exception? Checked exception means a compiler away. Unchecked means a compiler don't know. Means a checked exceptions will occur when the Java program is run. So it means before byte code. Okay. After byte uh, after compilation of when the Java program is running, at that time we can, uh, it's called unchecked exception. Okay, what is difference between throw and throws? Throw, throw keyword is also known as a custom exception. And uh, it throws the user, user throws the, an exception to the uh, user. You are wrong with that. Throw is a keyword, okay. It is used to raise the custom exception. Make yeah. sure. Raise the custom, in a method. Uh, not bad in Koja, but little bit some uh, misconceptions are there. I have to go through again. Yes. Sir. Okay, especially exception concepts. And uh, coming to uh, what do you know about collection framework? Collection framework, it converts the primitive data type into the object form and it stores the objects in collection. Okay. So, Tell me the difference between array list and linked list. Array list, uh, array list follows insertion order and as well as it allows duplicates and also allows null values and allows indexing. And linked list also follows insertion order and as well as in array list the performance of the insertion and as well as the deletion is slow compared to the linked list. And the array list data structure is resizable, and in linked list data structure is double linked list. Okay, what is difference between array list and hash set? Uh, array list, uh, as of now, I already said, uh, it maintains insertion order and allows duplicates, allow indexing, allows null values. In hash set, it does not allow insertion order, and as well as it does not allow duplicate values. Only it allows the null values. So, what is the difference between uh, uh, hash map and hash set? Hash map and hash set. Mm. It, co it comes to the hash like map mapping techniques in collection framework. Hash map. So, it's not a thing. We have to know about hash map. Uh, and uh, map uh, hierarchy also it's very important hash map hash table sorry for that sir uh, hash table uh, it doesn't allow key value null and as well as value as null key as null and value as null in hash map it allows the key as null and as well as value as null but key should be in unique unique means uh, it allows only one uh, null value as a key duplicates are not duplicates are not allowed Okay, now we'll discuss about the advanced Java. Yes, sir. The computer with the right. How many types of driver softwares are there? There are four types of driver softwares are there. Currently, which driver we are using? We are using the driver software is a uh, driver manager. No. Com.mysql.cj. We have only two existence of driver software. One is middleware driver, another one is thin driver. Thin driver. Okay, most of the projects with thin driver will be used. 
Okay, so how many types of statement objects we have in JDBC? Three types of statement objects are there. First is uh, statement and second one is prepare statement. Third one is callable statement. Are they classes or interfaces? That are the interfaces. Okay. Um, then, uh, to perform dynamic commands, which statement object I have to use? For dynamic commands, callable statements. Only callable? Callable statement and question mark is also known as placeholders. Okay. Now, what is the return type of execute update? Exe return type is integer. Integer. So, okay. what is the return type of execute method? Execute method return type is a data type. Like, uh, for example, sorry, uh, I couldn't remember that. Okay. Hmm. What is the return type of execute query? Return type of execute query. Okay. Sorry for that, sir. Then uh, uh, what do you know about servlets? Uh, servlet is an API, application programming interface. It uh, servlet is a parent class and it has a one subclass. We say generic servlet and generic servlet uh, have only one abstract method that is service method. And uh, servlet is a web component. So, uh, can we execute on the console screen servlet? Like, can we get the output uh, on the console screen using servlet? Sorry for this. In console screen, it not get. It will get in the web browser. Web browser because we are using the Tomcat web, web component. So, where it can be loaded, servlet? In Tomcat server. What is uh, like? What is the version currently you are using Tomcat? Tomcat version 9.0. Okay, fine. So you are familiar with Apache Tomcat 9.0. Yes, sir. So I want to know about Tomcat. What do you know about Tomcat server? So Tomcat server is a server which, like, uh, it interacts with the Java application and as well as web. What? Uh, uh, like a web page, web application, web page. It gives the request from the client and the Java application is uh, is receiving the request and as well as it forwarding the resp uh, response with the help of Tomcat server. Okay. So what is servlet collaboration? Servlet co connecting one web page to another web page with JSP file is known as servlet collaboration and there are two ways. First one is send redirect method, second one is request dispatcher. Right. Can you explain me what servlet lifecycle? Servlet lifecycle. So first one is uh, init method is there. Second one service method. Third one destroy method. Okay. But I don't expect this kind of answer. Okay, fine. Uh, then what do you know about JSP? Oh, sorry for that, sir. I don't have an idea about JSP. You don't know anything about JSP? Uh, but I am unable to express here. Okay. So what do you know about Hibernate? Like Hibernate. Mm -hmm. Okay, then what do you know about Maven? Uh, Maven is a like, uh, build Maven respiratory. Like uh, in that Maven itself only we are taking the uh, dependencies like server dependency, hybrid dependency we are taking from that and uh, we are creating a Maven project Okay Vinay, uh, we have to improve little bit more Yes sir uh, Not up to the mark, of course you are good almost 60% we have to reach to 90% Okay, you have to improve a lot in uh, Core Java as well as Agra Java and Hibernate framework Yes. Okay, and you should know about Maven. What is Maven? Okay, Maven is a build tool. Mm -hmm. For that build tool, we have Maven repository, mm -hmm. which is helping us to get the jar files. Okay, and yes. coming to the JSP, JSP is nothing but it is the extension of a servlet. JSP will be converted into servlet. Okay. Okay. So what are the functionalities we have in servlet? The same functionality will be present in JSP also. Yes. 
and uh, JD DC four driver softwares are there. Four drivers. First two, two driver softwares are not in utilization. The third and fourth are in utilization. Third one is middleware mm. uh, driver. Fourth one JD DC is in driver. Mm. driver. Yes. Sir. Okay. So you have to go through it, revise, revise yourself properly. Yes. Sir. Okay. So, okay, Vinay, prepare well. We'll get back to you. Hope all the best for your future. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.